This week, I want to talk to you about lost people. What does it mean to be lost? A lot of times, you know, we, we use that word lost and we, uh, you know, we don't understand what that means. And so as we look in the word of God, I believe the Bible gives a lot of descriptions of lost people. Sometimes, uh, you know, uh, Jesus used the, uh, the the phrase blind. A lot of times they're, they're blind. They're walking around, but they're in the darkness. They're blind. They don't know where they're going. And so as they're walking around blindly, they're, they're, they're lost. They're they're going to uh, lead into danger. And so sometimes the Bible uh, uses the expression, they're on the wrong path. And so since they're on the wrong path, they're, they're lost. They're walking down the wrong path and it's going to ultimately lead to destruction. Jesus also talked about lost people as uh, being sheep without a shepherd. And how dangerous is that? Because the sheep is going to go out there by himself and he's going to, you know, uh, follow that wrong path and he's going to walk out there without anybody leading them and walk out there all on his own without any protection whatsoever and ultimately destruction is going to uh, uh, going to come their way. The Bible talks about being naked and uh, you know so what that means, not talking about uh, physically being naked but spiritually being naked and so that means that they're out there, they're exposed, they're exposed to this world so they're, they're, they're blind, they're naked, they're sheep without a shepherd. The Bible uses all sorts of different uh, uh, explanations and descriptions of what lost people are. Jesus called the Pharisees. He told them they were whitewashed tombs. And so what does that mean? That they're a whitewashed tomb. They look good on the outside. A, a whitewashed tomb, it looks good on the outside. As a matter of fact, it's beautiful on the outside. It, it, it is made to look beautiful. It's made to look like a, a you know something that uh, uh, you know represents life. But on the inside, it's full of dead men's bones. So we have all of these different descriptions of what a lost person is. And so we're going to talk about what it means to be lost this week. And then we're going to end the week with talking about what it means to be found or how we're going to be found. Because if we're lost and we're hopelessly lost, then friends, that's not going to do us any good. All it's going to do is depress us. But friends, I want you to understand we're not hopelessly lost because Jesus said, Jesus himself said that he came to seek and to save that which was lost. So Jesus came with the intentional purpose to seek and to save that which was lost. So if you're here today, you say, you know what? I'm a sheep without a shepherd. I'm out there on my own doing my own thing. Turn to Jesus. If you come to the realization today, I'm a whitewashed tomb. I look good on the outside, but friend, I'm filled with dead men's bones on the inside. Turn to Jesus and he'll consume you with life. He'll fill you with life. If you say that I'm the one that is blind, you know, I'm just walking around in the dark. I'm walking around blindly. I'm about to walk off that cliff. Well, turn to Jesus. He is the answer. He is the solution. If you're out there you say, I, I am just naked. I am exposed to the world and the, the world is crushing me. The world is ruining me. Well, then turn to Jesus. He, he, he'll give you those uh, uh, garments that are made of white, those pure garments, and he'll clothe you in righteousness according to the word of God. So Jesus is the answer to every single one of the problems that we have. So if you're here today, you say, I'm lost. I'm out there wondering around in the wilderness and you know I'm, I'm, I, I veered off of the path and I've tried to make my own path. Oh friends, I want you to understand as we look in the word of God, Jesus is the answer. Not only is Jesus the answer, he is the only answer. And you know what he'll do? If you're lost today, he'll come and take you by the hand and he'll lead you that right direction. He'll guide you that right direction. He'll save you He'll make intercession for you. He will introduce you to the Father. He will give you his Holy Spirit and his Holy Spirit will guide you. We have his word and through his word, he will guide us through prayer. We have the blessing of being able to pray and pray through the blood of Jesus Christ so we know that our prayers are going straight to the throne of the Father, straight into the ears of the Father, and he will save us and he will 
bring us out of that lost position within our life and bring us in the right relationship with the Father. Jesus died on the cross to save you. Jesus shed his precious blood to save you. He was buried to save you. He rose up from the grave to save you. And today our resurrected Savior is at the right hand of the throne of the Father making intercession for the saints. He's interceding with you uh, for you and he will fill you with his Holy Spirit that will lead you and guide you. He'll show you the way. So I, I don't know the way. Jesus is the way. The disciples, Jesus told the disciples, he said, I'm going to come in again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there you may be also. They said, well, we don't know how to get there. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. Turn to Jesus. If you're lost, he'll find you. If you seek him, you'll, you'll find him. And he'll find you. And he'll lead you in that right path. Friends, if you remain lost, it's going to lead you to destruction. But he'll lead you to paradise. Would you turn to him today? The good news is that he's already provided the way. All we have to do is receive him, receive Jesus, because he is the way. Good news, good news worthy of sharing. So would you share this video so others can hear it and receive it when they believe it.